Right guys, today is the day. We are here with the brand new Yu-Gi-Oh! Duelist Nexus. This is the set I have been most excited for since it got announced as the brand new series of Yu-Gi-Oh! All the good stuff is happening now and I've got 12 booster boxes to open for you guys. So let's do the fun bit of the video where we get to smash them all out onto the table. Boom. 12 beautiful booster boxes. They always say the green sets are the best sets. And boys, what have we got today? We have got a green set. So I'm very, very excited. Not only because it features Stardust Dragon support, which if you know me, I like a lot, but it has cosmic Blaze and shoot and dragon, which is like a brand new boss monster for Sardis Dragon. So I'm very, very excited. There's Infernoble support, there's Rescue Air support, there's Pearly support. There's a bit of everything in this set for collectors and competitive players. And I haven't even mentioned the quarter century secret rares. This set features 25 quarter century secret rares. These Packs are amazing, and I am very, very excited to crack into them. So, without further ado, let's crack some Duelist Nexus, ladies and gentlemen. We got Greed Jar, Click and Echo, Cornfield Cottle, Cuckoo Commander, Chimera Fusion, Quibell, Stardust Worm, Hype, Small Scuffle, and Storage Pod. We'll pull the super rares out because it's a hit. We'll take it and we want to kind of know if any of the super rares are short printed, but I am just very, very excited to see these new cards. We've got Unchained support. I didn't even mention that. Rescue Ace, Shavara, Jurassic. Oh, we got Nightmare Magician as a secret rare already. Even magicians, um, there's a quarter century secret rare that is like features the dark magicians as well, which is pretty, pretty hype. I'm very excited to see what kind of quarter century secret rares we're able to pull. I don't know if it's going to be like, like Starlight, it was like one in a case or so. Um, whereas Battles of Legend, it was like a synchro world. Battles of Legend, it was like. Uh, one in every three or four booster boxes. There's Gazelle, the new uh, Gazelle archetype. Um, Super Heavy Security, that's a new one. That's like an import for us. Um, yeah, I'm very excited to kind of see what the, the pull rates are like because I have absolutely no idea. Uh, we've got over exaggeration. Synchro over top. This card's insane. It's so good. Uh, we've got Cuckoo. We've got Synchro Force back. This is a, it's a world premiere card. This didn't exist, so a TCG exclusive. Target monster on the field up to the number of Synchro monsters with different names you control. Return them to the hand. It's searchable off the Crimson Dragon, and it's a pretty good trap card, just generally. If you're afraid of cards like Dark Ruler No More and that kind of stuff. Um, so I'm, I'm happy, because the trap cards for like Synchros aren't great, honestly, um, from when I was looking, so that's pretty high. Uh, we got Click and Echo, we got Altergeist per trade. Hey, Altergeist has got more support to try and be an OTK deck. We got Scrap Iron Sacred Statue, that's a card I like a lot, like Scrap Iron Scarecrow, except it's Crimson Dragon, which makes it just cooler. Just absolutely cooler. We got Rescue Ace Preventer, uh, Giga, Wheel Synchron, great card, Vida, Clanter, Big Winged Perform. Uh, Volantis, Signs of Testina, Dadir, I can't pronounce that one, a million, boom, next one, we've got a Volite, uh, oh yeah, there's the, oh that's the new emergency card, huge, uh, oh we got the Noble Arms Museum, this card is really really good, uh, sick ultra rare, uh, all the kind of spells are insane for the Infernoble cards in this set, so we want to try and pull as many of them as possible because the deck is pretty pretty cool, new world formation, Aqua Chorus round, all pretty, pretty, pretty sick. Keep going. Smashing through these packs. We've got Cornfield, Namela, Evolza, Realm Resonance, Altergeist, Malwisp, uh, Spirit Mirror, uh, Breath of Testina, Stardust Worm, Hype. <laughs> um, I'm really hoping we pull many copies of Revolution Synchron because that card is busted. Um, and of course, the Crimson Dragon. 
a Cosmic Quasar Dragon. Uh, I kind of want to pull as many synchros, but that's for me. So uh, let me know in the comments like what you were most excited for. Because like there is a lot in this set. Um, even if it's just like the quarter century secrets, you know, like that in itself is enough reason to open the booster boxes, you know. Uh, even if you don't like anything, like the chase for the quarter centuries is huge when there's 25 of them to get. And there he is, our first boy of Revolution Synchron. This guy is so hype and I'm so excited to try and keep pulling him. He is so good. It's amazing that he's like a little power tool dragon. I absolutely love that. It's like, uh, it, it's very, very cool. Very, very cool. He recently did Stardust Synchron. Um, and I like that one a lot as well. We got Grenosaurus. Oh, that is that goes back. Grenosaurus Giga Cannon. That's sick to see him, them like doing that for Grenosaurus. Uh, oh, we got Heater the Fire Channeler. Sick. Uh, Super Heavy Samurai Security, Mechanco, and New World Formation. Boom, keep them coming. We have got Unchained Soul, Evolza, Unchained Soul, Realm of Resonance, Infernoble Knight, Altergeist. Oh, no, Infernoble Knight. Super rare, goes in the pile. Got Altergeist, Revitalization, Small Scuffle, Purely, and Scrap Iron Sacred Statue. I'm quite enjoying this set so far. Sick, we've pulled two secret rares already. We're barely even through the box. Got Cuckoo, Synchro over top. Oh, Bait Revolution Pill, the go goes he. Red Eyes Black Meteor Dragon, uh, Spirit Mirror, Scrap Iron Statue, and uh, Magicky Deity Ashtura. I'm not sure if that card's any good, but it's good to see Magicky support for sure. Absolutely. There's, of course, the Spiritualist cards in this set as well, which is a new type. Uh, you know, we haven't had a new Yu Gi Oh type of card since Cyber, so that's pretty interesting as well. Uh, we've got Magician of Faithfulness, that's sick, uh, like a twist of Magician of Faith. Uh, Target a spell, add to your hand, then you can special summon Magician of Faith and Magician from your deck of Faith. Now that's wild. It's very cool to see. Lots of legacy support. New World Stars. Keep them coming. Greed Jar, Gaia Blaze, Agnet, Eevee Light, Ursartic Polar Star. Very cool. Uh, Dadaira, Kui Belt, and Fins. I always think level one synchros are interesting. I always have to read them just in case they're absolutely insane. Um, over exaggeration, Synchro World, Unchained, Unchained, Chimera Fusion, Small Scuffle, Pearly, uh, Pearly Shelly, this is a really good card, uh, Signs of Tristina, and Magic Key. It's insane that like all the Pearly cards were super high rarity when they came out in like, uh, I don't know what set they came out in. Uh, Amazing Defenders and they're all super high rarity and then every single support card that's came out after it have not been high rarity it's mad Hound of Testina Adamancipator 2.0 uh, and Scrap Iron Statue it's been a good box guys it's been an absolutely good box to start with Double Head Confetti Synchro World Divine Domain Burbastina I'm not too sure about that one, honestly. I have no idea. New World Stars and Altergeist Revitalization. We got Double Headed, Greed Jar, Unchained, Cosmic Quasar Dragon. This card is insane. It lets you like tag out. Uh, like, it lets you tag out into a different. Uh, uh, sorry, no. Where is. What is this one? Brain, 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 brain. Yeah, no, no, it does tag out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. sorry. Yeah, it, it tags out. Brain. So the main combo is you summon this guy, uh, use the effect, summon another guy, use Assault Synchron, summon Cosmic Quasar Dragon, and then in draw phase, you know, Crimson Dragon tags it out into Hot Red King Calamity, and your opponent can't play the game. Uh, I'm about to open a different box there. We've still got packs to go. Confetti, Wheel, Overtop, Click and Echo, Manadium, Torrid. That's pretty good. Uh, Spirit Mirror, Super Heavy Samurai, and Love, and Altergeist Revitalization. It's pretty hype. Emergency, Greed Jar, Evolza, uh, Clatis, Stardust, New World, Breath, Storage Pod. We've got Rescue Ace, Jurassic Power, Dematica, Synchro Forceback. We have seen Forceback. Where is it? There it is. 
Storage Pod, Magic Key, Zuzo, and Scrap Iron Sacred Statue. Unchained, Nemera, Double Headed, Banishing Trap Hole. That's sick. Uh, Mechanko, Breath, Aqua. Uh, when your opponent summons a monster with 1500 or less attack, banish that monster with 1500 or less attack face down. That's pretty good for trap tricks. Like, they can't deal with a lot of monsters that are over that, right? Uh, v uh, Infernoble, sick. Altergeist, Valiance, and the two there. And that is it for our first booster box. Not bad at all, absolutely insane. And we got the Cosmic, we got the Nightmare Magician. We got Revolution, Synchron, Altergeist, Asartic, Divine. I didn't see Divine there, so yeah, that's like one, two, three, four. So yeah, we got the full Ultra Res, which is pretty sick. Insane, I am pretty hyped. We're gonna open the rest of the boxes at a pretty like faster pace now, because we of course took it quite slow to take a look at those cards, but of course we've got 12 booster boxes to open, and that will take absolutely forever. So we are not wasting any time and we are just gonna smash through so I can kind of show you guys exactly what you get in these sets. And of course, if you wanna pick up some Duelist Nexus for yourself, you can head on over to TotalCards.net. We have booster boxes, single cards, you know, all the cards you see in the video will be available on the website. Um, so be sure to check us out. There's a lot of good stuff on the, on the website. And first pack, we've got the Secret Rare Crimson Dragon. This is one of the cards I was most excited for, just because I always liked the Crimson Dragon when I was a kid, and it never got to have its own card. So it's super hype that it now has its own card. I remember when I came back to the game, there was Ultimaya Zulkan, and that was basically the Crimson Dragon, but it just didn't like, it, it, it's not called the Crimson Dragon for some reason. Um, so it's really great. It gets its own amazing synchro, you know, because it is really, really, really strong. Um, so it is super, super hype. Uh, we've got Force back. We're still looking for like the Pearly Xyz. That would be pretty sick to pull. Uh, we've got Malwis. Um, and of course, you're going to get a lot of the good cards in the set as well, because a lot of it is low rarity, which is pretty sick. Uh, we got Shakai Mera, the Illusionist Beast. We'll showcase this, the new Illusionist Archetype. Keep her going. Ooh, we got Emperor Charles the Great. This card's great. It's a spell trap negate by, you can link someone using like, uh, Roland? Oh no, sorry, Infernoble Emperor Charles, yeah. Um, and it equips it and it gains the effect. So it just makes the Infernoble deck a lot, lot better. Um, I like the card a lot. Oh, another Infernoble card back to back. We've got the Armory. Also an insane card, both the Field Spell and, sorry, Almas. Both the Field Spell and Almas are really, really good cards. Um, the level one, also insane, very, very good. Uh, a lot of good cards in this deck, guys. A lot of good cards. We've got Magnum Reliever. Uh, we got Felimatic Clitus. Not sure about the card, honestly. Not seen it. Gonna have to have definitely, there's a lot of cards to unpack in this set, guys. It's definitely worth a good read. There's Duelist Genesis, which does just search for any synchro spell trap, I believe. Yeah, pretty wild. There we got, oh, we got Unchained Soul, Lord of Yama. This is a pretty good Link monster as well. It's great to see Unchained getting support after all this time. Um, it, what did it release in like, uh, what's it called? Dark Neostorm? So that's quite a while ago. Um, so again, pretty sick to see it still getting support to this day. Uh, it is an interesting deck, honestly, if you're looking for an interesting deck to play. Unchains a deck that, um, it's a link deck, and then when you get your monsters and stuff, they, they let you use your opponent's monsters to link summon. Um, so it's a pretty good way of removal. Oh, we got the Secret Rare Dark Corridor. This is really good for Dark World. Add a Dark World monster from your deck to your hand and discard a card. Uh, discards for effect, so of course it triggers your Dark World cards, which is huge. Got Mirror Sword Knight. I haven't seen this guy either. Oh, I'm so happy to be opening Duelist Nexus, guys. I am very, very, very happy. Sick to see these cards, um, honestly. Uh, I definitely recommend if you're looking for a booster box or something to buy, to check out Duelist Nexus, because it is pretty, pretty good. We got, you know, we're getting insane hits from our first pack, like almost every time. Divine Domain, Bastina, we're just hitting. Every time we open the first pack, we're getting something. Oh, we got Emperor Charles again. That's pretty sick. We like Charles. Oh, we got the brand new runic monster. Sleep near the runic man. During 
During your during your main phase, your opponents or your opponent's battle phase, you can target one face-up monster your opponent controls, banish both that monster and this card until you end the uh during until the end phase of card is added from the main deck to your opponent's hand, you can special summon one runic token in attack position. I saw some people playing with this in like uh, in generators, <laughs> as it's a level nine, which was pretty cool. And um, to see like generators playing. Um but I'm not too much sure outside of that. I obviously haven't played with that card with a Runic deck. I've been on the Synchrons, boys. I've, that's all I've been grinding. Uh, we've got Almas. Uh, ooh, we got the brand new Ultimate Bright Knight Ursatron Alpha that's always treated as a Drytron card. I looked at it because, of course, I've played Drytron, but um, the only application it has is it can be sent off the, the XEs. Then it can, like... Be reborn by Gamma, um, so you've got to open Gamma, and then it searches you one of the traps. That's the only reason I would play it, and I, I just think it's probably better things to do in the deck, honestly. Of course, the main chase card being the Magicians of Bond and Unity, what they revealed in the sneak peek trailer, uh, like the this official set overview video they do. Um, that is the chase card, but. We're after as many quarter centuries as we possibly can. Another Unchained Soul Lord of Yama. That's pretty good. We've got Infernoble Knight Turpin. Where's Turpin? There's Turpin. Looking good, guys. Looking good. And a kind reminder, if you... Another Revolution Synchron. Let's go. Uh, a kind reminder to check out TotalCards.net, follow us on socials, subscribe to the channel so you don't miss these kind of unboxings because we do them for like every single release. Cosmic Quiz, a dragon! Um, right after that, uh, you don't, you don't want to miss out on that kind of stuff because it is pretty sick. And of course, if you want to get the stuff and get your fix and do what we're doing right here, you can check out TotalCards.net. Uh, bang, bang, bang. As if we just pulled Revolution Synchron and the Cosmic Quasar the Dragon to back it up. That is huge. Dreaming, dreaming, dreaming. Have we not pulled this card? We haven't pulled this card. Unreal. That is insane. It's like a, a cake monster. Get a look at that artwork, guys. That is insane. Uh, oh, we got another Secret Red Dark Corridor. We've also got stuff to look forward to. We've got like the 25th Anniversary Rarity Collection coming out uh, later this year, which has like every single stable you could possibly want in the game and then in every single rarity you could possibly want the card in the game so it's a very exciting time to play Yu-Gi-Oh! Uh, when that set comes out great time to get into it uh, it's always it's hard to get like staples like the expensive cards and that'll be when they are the cheapest possible time you can get them so again check out around whenever that comes out link here somewhere put it on screen whenever that set comes out be sure to check our channel check the website um, so you can find out exactly what's in the set pick up the cards buy the box the it is going to be insane i imagine the packs are going to feel so great to open just because you're pretty much guaranteed to get good like rarities out of them it's going to be a it's going to be a fun time for sure and very last pack of the fourth booster box. We have got a red eyes black meteor dragon. There's still, there is the chance we like just pull loads of like uh, quarter centuries like bang, 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 bang right at the end, you know? Right, heat to the, fa honestly, every single time we open the first pack, we get a hit. Keep track, guys, keep track. This is wild. Think real fast, but Crimson Dragon. Praise be thy curing Crimson Dragon. Unreal. Last two secret Crimson Dragons now. Uh, ooh, we got the brand new Infernoble Synchro 5. Uh, Angelica, Princess of the Noble Arms. Ooh, this is a TCG exclusive. The brand new Tokusono Shin Kaiojin. Send monsters from your hand or and or face up field to the graveyard whose total levels equals 10 to draw two cards. This card's pretty cool. I don't I probably don't have to explain that it's a draw two. Um, it's pretty easy to put in your deck and just draw two cards. However, it's only good if you are sending a level 10 from your hand to the grave consistently. 
Otherwise, a lot of the time, you're going to end up sending two monsters. And then, yeah, you're trading three cards for two cards. So, I don't imagine many people will play it. But if you play Eldritch, <laughs> if you play Eldritch or Trains, and you want to discard those level 10s, go for it. That is Demigod of Tistina. That card's wild as well. I'm in. I'm in, guys. We made it. We made it. We made it. Do you know what's funny as well? In the Dawn of Majesty box, uh, they said, like, like uh, you'll see it here, here. They said, uh, <laughs> let's rev it up. You know, in this one, they're like, right, we're revving it up again. Next pack, we've got your fit. You're done. You're done. You're done. Still. Epperly Noir. That's what we're looking for, guys. Epperly Noir. That is what we're here for. Ooh, I was talking about this as well. This box is sick. We got a Volza Lars. This card's actually insane when you read it. It says, when this card is material, your opponent can attack it with monster effects. When your opponent activates a card or effect quick effect, you can detach two materials from this card, or just one if they're all the materials, a reptile and or dinosaurs, then target a face-up card your opponent controls, negate its effects until the end of this turn. So it's untargetable. You can summon it with two level sixes, and it can detach two to negate... Uh, to target a monster on the field and negate its effects. It is harder because your opponent has to activate a card. It says like when a card or effect is activated. Um, so that's like the drawback, but it lets you target any face up card, um, which means it do you don't have to directly negate the card like that was activated, um, which makes it a little more flexible and interesting. I like that. Um, and I like it's generic because you know we need more good rank sixes. Uh, Synchro Overtop, Hound of Justina. So that is a pretty sick secret rare to get us going. So we do another secret rare here. We're gonna get two like secret rares back to back. Only got five packs left of this box. We've got Domain. Uh, ba -ba -ba -da. Ooh, we got the Runic. We got the Runic secret. Happy to take another Runic secret. I'm surprised you've only pulled one ultra rare this early, honestly. Two Revolution Synchron, two Crimson Dragon, one Pearly Noir, two Dark Corridor, one Lars. We are looking good, guys. We're looking good. We've got two of the Runic card. And I imagine people will want to pick that Runic card up if they've got a Runic core. So that's pretty good value as well if you manage to pull that. Um, so that everyone's got a Runic core nowadays. The Runic cards are just insane. Second Noir, that's huge. That is great, great, great. Uh, ooh, the Crimson Dragon, the third copy. I need like the heavens to open and be like, ah. boom, boom, boom. We got, ooh, we got the Chimera. The King of the Phantom Beasts. Pretty epic. Runic support. <laughs> uh, Runic didn't even need support. Pearly didn't need more support and he still got it. There's Altergeist Adminia. Uh, this helps with like OTK lines, I believe. I'm, I'm not familiar with Altergeist, I've got to be honest with you guys. But from what I'm aware, that card helps your OTK. Do one more secret rare and there, there it is. The targets. Oh, this is a really cool card. I remember reading this a while ago. This is the interesting form of removal. Target one face up monster in the field, place it face up in its owner spell and trap cards on as a continuous spell. So it's targeting removal, but it's non-destruction removal, um, which is really interesting. Um, you gotta think about cards. You gotta think about like the application of it. Um, you know, uh, if you play Yu-Gi-Oh, you're probably familiar with like the, the branded deck. Um, if you know branded, you know Mirror Jade uh, is a very difficult card to beat because even when you beat it, its effect says it's gonna destroy all the cards in the end phase. All face-up monsters in the end phase. Well, how do you beat that, you know? It's guaranteed to destroy all the cards you have and then they're gonna follow up and beat the game. Well, that card's pretty sick because it'll just place the Mirror Jade and the Spell and Trap card zone, not, not destroying it, but also it's now no longer a monster, it's a Spell and Trap that does nothing. Uh, oh, we got Fusion Arm Ammon. We haven't pulled this card yet. It says, reveal vulnerable fusion monster in your extra deck and special summon one of the fusion. Oh yeah, this is the one that it's negated and it can't attack. Um, so just let you summon any like monster that's on a fusion card, but it's negated and it can't attack. And there we have it, ladies and gentlemen. There it is. The quarter century secret rare if the camera will focus. 
Look at that. That is what your quarter century secret is. Look, you can see the 25th anniversary logo there. Shining on the text. That is a quarter century secret. All right, let's just get a sleeve. Ooh, we got Crystal God Tistina. That's sick. Gorgeous secret rare again. Well, boys, we eating good today. We eating good. We got Visa Armitara. So yeah, that confirms it, guys. Yeah, if it's an ultra rare that's a quarter century, it doesn't take up your secret, so, secret rare slot. So that's really, really good. It means you're just getting an insane box, basically. Like, an insane box. You're going to be able to sell, like... Uh, do I have a, a rough price right now? No, I don't have a rough price on the Noble Arms Museum, but it's, you know, whenever you pull a quarter century, you can look at like 100, 200 pounds for that kind of card, honestly. Ooh, we got the third copy of Pearly Noir. Sick, sick, sick. This card's great, honestly. It's really, really good. Um, does a lot for the Pearly deck, I like. But again, I appreciate anyone that stays this far into the videos. They are super long, and of course, you know, you, you know, you, people got stuff going on. You gotta, you gotta get, you gotta get stuff done. You gotta play Yu-Gi-Oh, man. Like, so appreciate sticking this far into the video with us. Of course, we're smashing it with the polls. So, any likes, any comments, they're massively appreciated, guys. Uh, boom, boom. Quick power-up drink of water. Mm -hmm. uh, dun, 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 dun. Ooh, we got the second copy of Nightmare Magician. That's pretty sick. Uh, Noble, oh, there's Infernoble Almas. I was saying, I was saying we didn't, we haven't seen Almas for a while, so that's good, that's good. New World Armatar. Nothing crazy out of that last box, but the final booster box of Duelist Nexus. Like 20 years time when the Duelist Nexus booster boxes are worth thousands of pounds. I remember when I was just chilling, cracking 12 of them. We've got Chimera, the King of the Phantom Beasts. Where do you go? We've got Banishing Trap Hole, very good card. Got Sleipner, the runic man. This is it, guys. This is it. What will our last secret rare be? We've got Infernoble Knight, uh, Ricardo, Rick, Ricardetto. We've got Divine Domain Ballista, Batista, sorry. We've got Mighty Dino King Rex, sick. Uh, we've got Fusion Armament. That's the second copy of that, that's wild. We've only pulled two of that. We pulled a second one, Heater the Fire Channeler. Maybe they're not as rare as I was, that's two. That is sick guys, second quarter century secret. Let's sleeve this bad boy up and show the world. Unreal! I am very happy, that's an ultra rare as well. So it doesn't take up our secret rare slot. This box is gonna be insane. It's gonna be a great final box to end the video on, guys. It's Revolution Synchron! <laughs> insane. It is a perfect final box to end the video on. An absolutely perfect box. Let's get through these packs, show you what's left in the rest of them. Hounder to Stina. Unreal guys, this has been a really good video. I'd like to thank you again if you stuck all the way to the end. It's been insane. We're still smashing these packs, but it has been very, very, very good. And I've said it throughout the video, but you know the drill. You can head on over to totalcards.net if you want to get any of the single cards you've seen in this video. And obviously there's a bunch of good cards in this set, so definitely do the homework. Check out all the cards. The website has the pictures and all that good stuff on. Um, yeah, it's, it's, it's pretty wild. You want to crack some boxes like I've done here. We've got booster boxes. You can buy individual packs. There's, you know, you, your news when new products get announced. News gets posted on there. So Total Cards is a good place to check out. We've got about four booster packs left. Of course, you can subscribe to the channel so you don't miss this stuff. We not only do Yu-Gi-Oh, but we do Pokemon, Magic the Gathering, and all that good stuff. So, you know... If you're into card games, as most of us are, um, we're a great place just to, you know, geek out and find all that good stuff. Uh, join the Discord if you want to talk to other people. There's a Discord link in the description, um, so you can talk to us directly. And we got Angelica, uh, great ultra red pull as well. Very last pack, guys. Very, very last pack. 
We've got a mirror sword knight, of course we do. That, yeah, that sums the video up in a whole, doesn't it? The mirror sword knight. Uh, again, thank you guys. This is the end of the video. We'll see you all in the very next video.